In this video, I will be using Guru policy to deploy Google Drive. I will use two different deployment methods. One is where we create a policy for domain computers and then the computers install the software during startup. Another one is where we create a policy for domain users and then the users themselves can install the software whenever they like. I will also use Wix to package the executable into MSI file. And I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also, in the bottom of the page, you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here you can find videos about my Windows Server setup if you are interested in that. There is also a few videos about extra group policies and settings that I'm using when deploying software using group policy. And also a few videos about Wix on how to install it and use it. And now I will begin this video by downloading Google Drive executable. And for that, I will use the link that I have here. That brings me to that Google Drive download page. Then I will scroll down a bit and click on download now. The download should start. And then I will go to my downloads folder. And here I have the executable that I will be using in this video. And now we need to package this executable into MSI file. And for that, I will go to my GitHub page because here I have few configuration files for Wix. One is called Google Drive, and this is already finished configuration file that has all the necessary values in it. You can check it out if you want to. But for this video, I'll be using this one called template. I will click on it and then I will click on the button right here to download the configuration file. Then I will go back to my downloads folder. I will right click on the configuration file and select rename. And I will name this configuration file Google Drive. Then I will right click on the file and I will open it with Visual Studio Code. And as you can see, it's an XML file. Basically, it's instructions for Wix on how to package the executable into MSI file for us. And here we mainly care about this part. Basically, here we need to fill in the necessary information for Google Drive installation. First, we need to name our package and I will name it deploy Google Drive. Then for exe, we need to provide the executable name. And for that, I will right click on the executable that I have in my downloads folder. I will select the full name and then I will copy it. Make sure to include the extension if you are also following along. Because the extension is important, then I will paste in the name here. Then for the path, we need to provide the location where we currently have our executable. And for me, it's my D drive. And I mean downloads folder. And my downloads folder is in my D drive. So I'll type D downloads. Then we need to provide silent arguments because we want to this installation to happen silently and for that i will go back to the github page and here i have all the silent switches that i will be using for this installation i will go back to my visual studio code and paste in the value here then for the version you need to provide the version number for this msi package but it's not unrelated to the software in most cases i like to keep the version for msi file the same as the software but to make this video simple, I will just give it a version number of 1.0.0. And publish, publisher is not that important, but it's a mandatory field. So I will give it a value of let's do automation. And the last part is to provide a GUID. Basically, GUID is a unique identifier and we can generate it using PowerShell. And for that, I have the command also in the GitHub page right here. So I will copy it. I will open my terminal window, paste in the command. And as you can see here, every time that I'm using this command, I'm getting a unique identifier. I will copy one of these values, then go back here and paste it here. And that's basically all the information that we need to provide for Wix for it to generate the MSI package from the executable for us. Now to use the Wix. First, I will go to the terminal and then I will change the location in my terminal to the location where I have my configuration file and it's in my downloads folder. And my downloads folder is in my D drive. So to change the location, I will type CD and then D and downloads. Press enter. If I type there, you can see that I here I have my configuration file and the executable. Now to generate the MSI file, I will type Wix build and provide the configuration file name so it's google drive.wxs and press enter and then i will go back to the downloads folder and wait for the msi file and the msi file was successfully generated so now i will right click on the file i will select copy and then i will go to vmware workstation 
where I have my Windows Server environment. For now, I will minimize the Server Manager and I will move the executable to my desktop and from my desktop, I will move it to a network share that is accessible to my users and computers. And for that, I will open File Explorer and here I will enter my file server name. It's SRV02. Here I have the software share and inside of the software share, I will create a new folder called Google Drive. I will go inside of it and then move the MSI file into this new folder. And here you need to make sure that you have the correct NTFS and share permissions. For example, in my case, if I go to properties, security tab and edit, you can see that I have authenticated users with read permissions for my NTFS permissions. And also I have the same permissions for the share permissions. An authenticated users covers both users and computers in my domain and with read permissions that means that both of my users and computers are able to access this share and execute files from it. Anyways, make sure that you have the correct permissions and now I will close all the windows here and go back to the server manager because now we can start creating our group policies. And for that I will go to tools, group policy management, I will right click on group policy objects and select new. The first policy that I will be creating will be for my domain computers. It's where the software is installed during computer startup. So I will name this policy assign Google Drive and click OK. Then I will expand group policy objects and I will right click on the policy that I created and select edit. And because this policy is for our computers, we need to go to computer configuration, policy, software settings, software installation. Then I will right click here, go to new and select package. Here make sure that you're selecting a file that is located in a network share because it will allow you to select a local file on the server, but, and the policy will be successfully created, but, but when the computers would try to install it, the installation would fail because they would not be able to access the file on the, on the server's desktop. Anyways, now I will go to my file server, SRV02 software share, <coughs> Google Drive folder, and Google Drive MSI file. Here I will select advanced and OK. Then I will go to deployment tab, advanced, and here for, I will select ignore language when deploying this package because I want to deploy this package to all of my computers, no matter what system language they have. Then I will click OK and OK. And we can close this window because we are done creating our policy. And then I will select the policy here, go to details and for GPO status from enabled, I will select user setting, user configuration settings disabled because currently this, this policy only has computer configuration settings in it. And I will leave all other settings on default. Now, after creating our policy, we need to assign it to an organization unit that is holding the computers on which we want to deploy the software. In my case, the organization unit will be this one, domain computers one. So to assign the policy, I will click and hold on the policy and then drag and drop it on the organization unit. Then I will click OK here. And as you can see, the policy appeared here and also in the list here. Now, after assigning the policy, we can test it by going to one of the client machines that is located in this organization unit. And for me, it's this client 01. And here I will open start menu because the first thing that we want to do is to update our group policy. And here I will type CMD and I will open command line without administrative privileges and I will type GP update. And as you can see here, we get an informational message saying that the computer detected a software installation package and for the software to install, the computer needs to be rebooted. So to reboot the computer, I will type shutdown minus R minus T0 and press enter. And now let's wait and see what's going to happen. As you can see here, Google Drive software installation package is currently being installed. Let's wait a bit more. And it's done installing the software. So I will now sign into the computer. I will go to start menu. All apps and somewhere here we should see uh, Google Drive. And here it is. I will click on it and it seems to run just fine. And that's it for deploying Google Drive to our computers during startup. Now let's create another policy, this time for our domain users 
and let's allow them to install the software whenever they like. And for that, I will go back to my server. I will right click on group policy objects, select new, and then I will name this policy publish Google Drive. And then I will click OK. I will right click on the policy here and select edit. And because this policy is for our users, we need to go to user configuration, policy, software settings, software installation. I will right click here, go to new and select package. Once again, make sure that you're selecting a file that is located in a network share as this one is and I will double click on it, select advanced and OK. Here I will go to deployment tab and for installation user interface options, I will select basic because I don't want to allow my users to select anything during the software installation process. And then I will click OK and I will close this window because we are done creating our policy. Then I will click on the policy here, go to details and for GPU status from enabled, I will select computer configuration settings disabled because this time this policy only has user settings in it. And I will leave all other settings on default. And once again, we need to assign it to an organization unit, but this time we need to assign it to an organization unit, which is holding our users. In my case, it will be domain users organization unit right here. So to assign the policy, I will click and hold on the policy and then drag and drop it on the organization unit. As you can see, the policy appeared here and also in the list here. Now to test this policy, I will go to my other client machine that I have here, client 02. And here I have this desktop shortcut right here that goes to the software installation from the network. I'll double click on it. And as you can see, currently the list is empty. And to fill the list, we need to update our group policy. So for that, I will go to start menu, type in CMD, I will open it, and then I will type GP update. And as you can see now policy was updated if i go to the software list right click and select refresh we can see our google drive package right here i will double click to start the installation and the installation was successful so i will click ok here then i will go to start menu all apps and somewhere here we should see google drive once again and it seems to be working just fine. And that's it for deploying Google Drive using group policy to our users and computers. And in the future videos, I will show you how to deploy Google Drive using other software deployment tools. So like and subscribe if you want to see that and see you in the next one.